How's it going today guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be tackling a, uh, a project here. So I've got to get this shed all rearranged so I can have room to do shrink wrapping in here and just kind of get it switched over for um, winter mode. So we're going to get the El Camino here is going to get tucked into the back corner. Um, everything there is going to get pulled out. I'm actually going to be listing um, a couple things for sale that are tucked away right now that I just have no use for, never use. So we're going to try to get them out so I can at least get them cleaned up and get them listed for sale. And uh, yeah, figured I'd take you guys along with me. Kind of a see the progress type deal. And yeah, so let's take a look at what we're up against here and then we'll get started. All right, so the main goal is this is the gable end doors here. And this is where I back things in and out of to, uh, to shrink wrap them. So we've got to get our boat out winterized shrunk wrap and put away i don't know if we'll get it wrapped today but we need to get it out to rearrange um and then this back corner here is the main issue so we've got to get come around this side here we've got to get the el camino started up and pulled completely out today uh, if you caught the last video the battery was almost dead well today the battery is dead so we're gonna have to throw the jump pack on that and get it fired up but then this back corner here is the main issue so we got we're gonna get um this is like a scoop dig deal you put on the three point of the tractor and you can back in the dirt and scoop it up um i have the loader now so i don't need that so i'm gonna try to sell that and then this is the mower deck for it 72 inch belly mower uh, if anybody on here is interested in that let me know uh but that and that are both gonna be going up for sale that i've got to get it out it looks like it's rusty but it's not it's actually just really dirty um so i want to pressure wash that get that ready to sell and hopefully list it and then the El Camino is actually going to get, I'm going to lay down some shrink wrap plastic so it's not sitting on the dirt floor. And it's going to get backed in to this back corner here um, for the winter. And then, um, yeah, just kind of put away. I'm going to put some mouse poison in it and stuff. Try to keep the mice out. If you caught the last video, it blew a bunch of acorns out of the exhaust. So that's not a good start. And then this corner here, we're going to take the brush hog and try to put it up in this corner, move that engine um we'll see how it all evolves from there i guess but that's kind of the that's kind of the plan what we're gonna start with anyway all right so let's get this jump pack on here i really like this jump pack it's a i don't know performer technologies jump and carry it's got a little air compressor built in it works pretty good i use the heck out of it i've had a bunch of these over the years and uh this one's holding up pretty good i've dropped it a couple times handles a little busted but it works and it actually holds a charge and works when I need it to so so far it's been working good only had it for about a year though so can't say it's I've had the full test of time on it or anything but let's see here the only thing that sucks is these clamps aren't very great but That's warming up we'll go over and uh fire up the generator on the lights in there so um unfortunately this shed does not have power pulled out to it um i did go ahead and hang up these lights in here so i put several sets of these their led light bulbs and they are crazy bright at night it lights up like the sun in here it's almost too bright sometimes but um and then just ran to a switch and then i just wired in a uh an extension cord end here that I just plug into the generator and that runs. I've got an outlet there and a light switch that uh, turns on my lights. So let's get the generator fired up. Uh oh, there we go. smarter i would have unhooked that brush hog just yesterday somewhere not right in my way 
because the only real way to move that is to, uh, I wonder if I can move it with the bucket. Otherwise I actually have to hook it up to the three point and that is a pain in the butt just to move it a little bit. So we're gonna try and move it with the bucket. Um, we'll see. Grab a chain here quick. I've gotta be careful not to damage that PTO shaft. Let's see here, chains all in a knot. Maybe if I just run it around here like this, how can I lift up? That might work. Go underneath these hookup points. As long as that doesn't allow me to go like this here. We'll see if I can pick it up just a little bit and drag it back just, I don't know, 15, 20 feet, we'd be good. sitting on the dirt and hopefully to help prevent rust a little bit. So let's see here. Hopefully this is enough. It's definitely not in here. here. Darn it. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it'll, if we unfold it, it'll be wide enough the other way. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, well, this is garbage. We'll try the next roll. Now this is starting to get expensive, because this would have been enough to do a whole other bullet, but that's what we got to do. Let's see, probably, I don't know how long is the car. Better measure. Hang on. So if you're ever wondering, a Chevy El Camino 73 is six paces long. So, knowing that we can't back the bumper through the wall, we'll give it a little bit of room. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's about perfect. We'll go a little more. We'll cut it right there. All right, now, the rest of this roll is pretty much worthless. Perfect. All right, now we'll get this all unfolded. It's gonna be plenty wide. I think this is 20 feet wide, but we can leave it double thick in some spots.
Now the only left to do with this is I'm going to put some bounce dryer sheets in here. Hopefully help with the mice and then I'm going to put mouse poison in there as well so if they get in. The only other thing I was thinking about doing is um, maybe trying to pack some tin foil or something in them exhaust pipes so they can't pack it full of acorns again. Probably not the end of the world, ain't like they can get up to the engine, but I guess actually they could technically. So yeah, let's grab some mouse poison, some dryer sheets, pop that in there, pull the battery and she's done. Start with the battery. Very slippery. Put the old Letterman on here. It's always sad doing this, knowing she's done for the year, but if I really wanted to, I could pull it out in the middle of winter if I if I get the hair to work on it, I still could, but I probably won't. I don't think I even tightened this bottom clamp. Oh, eh. no, I did. Finger tight. Oh, that's the end of that. Set that guy there. I wonder if I should put something under the hood. Nah. I'll forget and start being there. Okay, now I'll grab some bounce dryer sheets and mouse poison and we'll chuck that in there. Alright, so first we're just gonna fairy dust some of these in there. Like everywhere. Under the seats and back here. And put a couple in the glove box. Under the seats. I don't know if these really help or not. Some people say they do. Some people say it's worthless, but I know it doesn't hurt. And then, we're going to go ahead and run some of these decon cubes. Now, you're supposed to run them in this thing. The problem is the mouse don't go in this thing to eat it. I think they're too smart or they just don't want to. So, that thing's worthless. What I like to do instead is I just cut chunks of cardboard and put it in here. Now, it's supposed to keep it so your dog doesn't eat it, but dog's not going to get in the car. So, I like to set it on little cardboard. I just am always afraid it's going to, I don't know stain or something. So we'll cut a couple chunks of this cardboard and put some mouse poison in there that way. Well, for one, if a mouse goes in there, when a mouse goes in there, it kills it, hopefully. And two, I need to sharpen my knife. And two, I will know if they're getting in because I'll be able to tell they ate it. So kind of a win-win. So we'll go ahead and put three. I'll probably put one on each floorboard and one in the back and call that good. Still looks like a mess, but a halfway rearranged mess. Got the El Camino tucked back in the corner. Got everything set up. Bobcat is parked. Got my pallet of shrink wrap set here, ready to rock and roll. Shrink wrap carts ready. 
Got the bobcat side by side backed in here so I can throw all my shrink wrap scraps in there and pull it out. Should be ready to start making something happen here. It's still kind of a mess on the sides. I need to do a little more picking up there, but for today, I think that's gonna be about good enough. Well, I thank you guys for clicking on this video and hanging out with me today when we uh, did some shed rearranging. I know it might not be the most exciting thing, but I enjoy making videos, so I thought, why not film it? So once again, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and until next time, you guys have a good one.